before we get to the good part, I want to show you something. What's going on guys? Today we are reviewing the Jurassic World Ultimate Collection 4K Steelbook box set. I do not like the title. I think it should just be called the Jurassic Park box set since it's the trilogy that started it all and the superior movies in my opinion. But, you know, who am I, right? Anyway, let's get into it. I love the housing, but sometimes they're a pain to get out. We got the first one, which got the T-Rex on the front. The back logo, which, you know, it's kind of boring compared to the T-Rex on the front, but it's iconic. So, you know, that's pretty cool. We got the Jurassic Park 4K disc with uh, looks like the still from uh, when we first encounter the T-Rex in the movie. And then the generic Universal uh, Blu-ray, which just is with the black background, which is fine. It's still kind of cool, but I prefer this artwork. I love this artwork. And then in the back, we have another still from the movie, which uh, I'm not great with dinosaur names. So, uh, yeah, there's just a dinosaur there probably about to eat somebody. Let's put you back. Well, like I said, sometimes it's a pain to get him in there and out, but whatever. Next up, we got Jurassic Park Lost World with another iconic dinosaur. I'm getting the vibe that each one's going to have... There's the logo again. Each one's going to have a the dinosaur that makes an appearance first in these movies. So we'll, we'll find out as we go along. We have another 4K disc artwork. I absolutely love it with another still... From the movie, same kind of artwork in the back for the DVD, or the Blu-ray, I'm sorry, which is fine. And another still, which, that's kind of boring. Uh, that looks like the same still from the back of the cover of this. Um, I don't, that's just lazy compared to what they did with the first one, but hey, whatever. Here's what it is. Put you back all delicately like, come on, come on, there you go. Next up, we have Jurassic Park 3 with another dinosaur that makes its first appearance in the movie. Check out the back. Generic. I'm pretty sure they're all going to have the generic back logo, but I'm going to show it off anyways. And then here we got the 4K disc artwork, which I love. Again, it looks like the same pattern with the, the black Blu-ray and the same kind of scene right here. Uh, yeah, compared to the first movie, that's just lazy. Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? put you back next we have jurassic world uh i believe the uh oh, i forgot what this this dinosaur was um uh, the indominus rex i believe don't hate me if i got it wrong looks like yep jurassic world same logo look at this okay so the 4k artworks got Chris Pratt uh, with Velociraptors on his motorcycle. We got the same uh, disc artwork for the Blu-ray. And then we have Bryce Dallas Howard's character just staring at the uh, window, which, uh, you know, she's probably like, oh my God, we're about to get eaten. Who knows? I know, I'm stupid. It's fine. Let's get that back in there. Next up, we have... Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, uh, looks, there we go, with the generic dinosaur again, same type of background, I mean, at least it's consistent, it looks pretty cool, let's check out the 4K artwork, still from the movie, which, uh, this scene's pretty cool, from the movie, generic artwork back here, oh hey, look, a different type of, uh, artwork like the do with Jurassic World, uh, in the background, which it doesn't really copy the disc, which is kind of cool, I love that. And last but not least, probably the worst in the franchise, but that's okay. It still was a valiant effort. We got Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, I didn't hate this movie, but I don't love it either. Unfortunately, bringing back all the old cast members for a reunion did not make this movie much better. There apparently is an extended cut to this, which I haven't seen yet, so we'll see. Here we go with the 4K with the awesome artwork. Same artwork in the back for the Blu-ray. And, oh, man, 
this is a very inconsistent uh, steelbook background for these movies, uh, as we got with uh, Jurassic Park 2 Lost World and Jurassic 3. It looked like the same artwork from the disc, where Jurassic World 1, 2, and 3 have different artwork, uh, which is still pretty cool. Yeah, there's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you, uh, you know, have a good day. Now back to the good part.